you talk about meetings, um, you get almost a visceral reaction often, right? So unless you're in sales, um, you know, uh, you look at your calendar and you see a day full of meetings, most people will groan because they, they think, oh, this is um, so unproductive. This is just such a waste of my time. Welcome everyone to Uptech Report, our Apply Tech series. Um, this series is sponsored by TerraLeap. Learn how to leverage the power of video at TerraLeap.io. I'm excited for our guest today, um, Darren Brown, who's based in Indianapolis, Indiana, CEO and co-founder of Docket. Welcome, Darren. Hello. <laughs> I'm excited to be able to dig in. You state on your website, the product that you have is a meeting-focused platform perfect for, as you say, making the most out of every meeting. And really you're targeting uh, managers, entrepreneurs, other business leaders that, well, they do a lot of meetings. So this might be a tool they want they want to check out. Um, on your site, you shared meetings matter, but we're doing them wrong. Can you dive into like, what was the problem that you initially set out to solve and how has that changed over time? Yeah. So, I mean, if you think about it, this, uh, this problem is almost universal. You know, one of the great things about this is I, as I thought about um, going into you know, building a startup and what uh, problem I wanted to tackle. And what really resonated with this, is if you talk about meetings, um, you get almost a visceral reaction often, right? So unless you're in sales, um, you know, uh, you look at your calendar and you see a day full of meetings, most people will groan because they, they think, oh, this is um, so unproductive. This is just such a waste of my time. Um, but yet we've all been in meetings where you come out energized, right? You come out with, you have a firm plan of action. You knew what you were there to accomplish. You had a good debate. You, you, you debated the topics. You came up with some decisions and you felt like a team, you know, in alignment and you, you're, you're charged for action. And so, you know, Docket's mission is to bridge that gap between that just groan of, of pain that you, that you feel when you see your calendar versus that, that just energized excitement of, of the effective meeting. And that, you know, that's where we're at. Um, we're seeing a lot of early success at that. You know, it's a problem that resonates and it's, it's an easy problem for people to grasp. Now, this has been about coming up on two years, correct? Mm -hmm. that, that since, you, since you've launched. Um, I'd like to, in our second part, for those who love to hear more about the journey and what it's like to build a company, stay tuned for our discussion with Darren. But a little teaser here, if, if you could know what you know now, two years ago, uh, what's something you wish you had known and you could tell yourself? <laughs> well, that's an excellent question. Um, so on the problem statement itself, um, it is ubiquitous. Um, but the biggest challenge that we face is really replacing, um, you know, current habit and paper, right? Um, so it is uh, when people that are looking to solve this problem, they find Docket, they love it because it, it just makes having that uh, clarity and transparency around your meeting so much easier and in some cases automatic. Um, but oftentimes it is that habit that you need to build um, if that is not something that you're used to, right? And so that's the kind of the hump that we are challenged to get over. Um, yeah. And you're in it right now. Now, and for those excited, stay tuned for part two to hear more about this, that journey. But really getting to, to the product, I think that's a powerful statement of behavioral change. I mean, if you want something to change, you ha may have to change the way you think about something, the way you do. Let's talk about the, the benefits of, of what you're touting of, hey, it actually is worth the effort to make a change in the way you do meetings. What What's the effect? What's the outcome that someone? Yeah, it's say? it's really just a, it's alignment and productivity, and to say just because that's such a simple concept, right? Um, having the team aligned makes them much more productive. You can make better decisions much faster. You're not repeating the same conversations over and over again, so the team is not feeling frustrated, like you're not making any progress. You're just crystal clear about the outcome of each meeting. You're crystal clear about the intent of each meeting and why you're having it. And it just, you know, beyond just the efficiency and effectiveness, it actually makes people's work life feel better because they're not as frustrated. So then I'll, I'll go ahead and, and ask the, the tough question. I mean, why is your tool um, better than just let me write it down on a piece of paper of what I'm, where the meetings are happening, what I'm going to talk about? How does it help? Yeah, so the way it really helps is it brings the team together. So you um, often, if you take notes, which is a big if, um, for a lot of people, if you take notes, it's your own personal notes in your own notepad and you kind of go away and those never see the light of day, right? And maybe you took some action items down for yourself, 
Um, and you likely did, right? But nobody is keeping track of those beyond yourself, right? So with Docket, you have this collab collaborative experience where the entire team can take notes together, can see the, you know, all the interactions going on. If you note something that um, you think is something that's been decided, you, you know, somebody else in the meeting can immediately jump and go, wait a minute, that's not exactly what I heard. So you can short circuit the need to have yet another meeting to debate that topic while you're in the meeting. And then the action items that you can track within Docket um, get propagated out through the system and through your email and through Slack and those types of things so that the entire team is aware of all the action items for, for the team. And then the next meeting that you have, you know exactly where those stand. It, may, it sounds like it, it's the best use case. If you're meeting with your internal team on a regular basis, um, whether daily or weekly or, or monthly, and being able to run those meetings more effectively, correct? Yeah, it, it crosses several different use cases because it, if you think, take a step back, pretty much every meeting has three phases. It has the pre-meeting work phase, the in-meeting phase, and the post-meeting phase. And so our framework um, makes each of those phases uh, easy to do and takes a lot of the work and the onus out of those, um, those phases. And so what we really focus on is those team meetings, the reoccurring meetings, the project meetings, and even client meetings where you wanna make sure that your conversation with the customer is polished, professional, and consistent. So there is a kind of a set of use cases there that are perhaps they seem different um, you know, on the initial look at them, but they all boil down to that pre and post meeting work that you need to do. What about folks who are doing meetings with externally? Does this still work well in that kind of situation or mostly internally? Yeah, no, actually, we uh, one of the differentiators between us and some of our competitors is we embrace that external meeting. We're not just internally focused in, in team meetings. We have um, features and functionality built in to make having those external meetings seamless so that, for instance, if you're having a customer meeting, a prospect meeting, your customers can engage with Docket without having to create an account. You can send out agendas and recaps with your custom, with your brand versus the Docket brand. Um, those are types of, you know, some of the, the the just straightforward features that we enable for you to have those conversations um, to get that consistency with your with your customers. Uh, your business model, it's, it's per month, per user type situation? Yeah, um, we call it product-led growth. So it is, uh, you know, it's a, essentially a freemium type model. You have, a, there's the free basic version you can get in, you can sign up, you can use a lot of functionality um, in that version. We, of course, want you to see the value in the next tier, which is the pro tier. Um, and you start to um, get calls to action within the product and prompting around things like custom templates, team templates. A lot of the, the real kind of collaboration experience that brings the team together are in the, the pro tier where um, you'll get the most value there. And um, it is per month per user um, with a discount, of course, you want to pay annually. What's your most uh, exciting feature that you guys released lately um, and maybe make people go, aha, when they see that? <laughs> so we have a, a nice overlay with Zoom that is about to be expanded um, quite a bit. So I'll, I'll describe what we have now and then what we're going to have here in, in the short term. So what we have now is uh, one of the major challenges, especially now in the COVID world, but even pre-COVID, right? So if you have, I'm on a laptop, I've got my Zoom window open, I'm trying to take part in the meeting, but I've got action items over here, I got agendas, I've got documents I need to pull up, and I'm toggling between three and four different windows to bring all of that up. So with Docket, you can start the Zoom call from within Docket, you can have the agenda and the notes and the task and everything right there, bring up resources so you don't have to flip between windows in order to do that. That's what exists today. The exciting part is we are one of the early cohorts to launch what Zoom is calling Zoom apps. So you'll be able to flip the script and start Zoom and then from within Zoom, pull up Docket in your Zoom window and get all the benefits of Docket and Zoom at the same time. In that case, then it'll be supported both Mac and PC, no matter yeah. where you're running. No matter where you're going, yeah. Got it, okay. Um, Anything you can share more about the technology underlying how um, it's just different or, or just even on the, on the roadmap beyond, including this, this aside from the Zoom application that you want people to know about? Yeah, it's, uh, so what we're really focused on is, uh, over the next um, several months to a year is really enhancing the in-meeting experience and getting to more of a coaching type experience within the meeting. So um, as we're talking, you know, there, there are phrases I'm saying, there's phrases you're saying, there's facial expressions, smiles, that, those types of things. You can start to build in some intelligence, some emotional intelligence, some analysis in order to understand how the conversations are going within the meeting and be able to um, 
respond to those in real time and let um, those that are facilitating the meeting understand how people are feeling or thinking, uh, you know, beyond just, um, you know, running the meeting and making sure you're just inclusive, making sure you're getting everybody into the conversation, who's talking the most, who's not said anything and just prompting you in a much more um, coachable way to facilitate a much better meeting. What can you, uh, uh, share any tips or thoughts on a kind of closing here for any managers, entrepreneurs, business leaders, when it comes to meetings yeah. uh, that they should just think about and maybe a, a, uh, just t- do it differently than they thought before. So uh, we say it really comes down to clarity about what the meeting is about and why specifically somebody's being asked to attend, right? If you just provide that clarity, people feel much, much better and understand why they're being asked to take part of their day and attend that meeting. And then it's transparency about what actually happened in the meeting so that you're all in alignment, you all understand the action items. And if you couldn't happen to make it to that meeting, you know that there's consistent um, recaps being sent out, updates being sent out, and you don't feel like you have to attend the meeting just to know what's going on. So it's really around that clarity and transparency concept. That's what Docket is built for and built on. Well, thank you so much, Dan, for sharing um, Docket and the exciting things that you are bringing for us. Now, everyone, stay tuned for part two of our uh, chat here. We'll hear more about Darren's journey and his story of how he got to where he is today. Have you seen a company using AI, machine learning, or other technology to transform the way we live, work, and do business? Go to uptechreport.com and let us know. Mm-hmm.